I'm Carly Johnston, and welcome to Comerica Bank Game Day Preview. Tonight, your Red Wings take on their Atlantic Division rival, the Boston Bruins at TD Garden. This is the fourth and final meeting between these two clubs this season. The Red Wings enter tonight's contest with a 26-29-10 record, with Dylan Larkin leading the way in points with 48. The team dropped a 4-1 decision to the Minnesota Wild on Sunday night at XL Energy Center. Justin Ablocator got the wings on the board early, but it would be all wild the rest of the game. The Bruins are 40, 15, and 8 on the season so far, with forward Brad Marchand leaving their team in scoring with 61 points. They won their last contest against the Montreal Canadiens on Saturday night in overtime by a 2-1 score. Our very own Ken Cal is with the team in Boston and filed this report for Morning Skate. Thanks a lot, Carly. We're here in Boston as the Red Wings prepare for their final game of a four-game road trip against the Boston Bruins. Red Wings, hey, they need two points. They're trying to end a three-game road skid in preparation for the game on Thursday coming up at Little Caesars Arena against Vegas. Let's check in with the players, see what they have to say about tonight's game against the Bruins, and also get head coach Jeff Lashley's comments as well. Not, not for us. I mean, our focus is on us. They got lots of good players still in the lineup. Uh, um, you know, so so certainly there's some good ones missing, but they got lots of them still in the lineup. So our focus is on us and playing great hockey. Well, I think Jared. First of all, I've known Jared a long time as a goalie. Obviously, I had him in, in GR, and and I think. Uh, uh, Jared's worked extraordinarily hard over the years to, to really b build his game. I think he, he, he uh, uses his, when he's playing his best, uh, he uses his size very effectively, doesn't give up much net, doesn't over move, there aren't many holes and he's hard to beat that way. Um, I think uh, when he's playing his best, he's a good puck handler. So, you know, uh, I think he's looked really good since he's been up. Uh, we got him at a time when he was really hot down in Grand Rapids, so I'm hoping that can carry over. I think getting here yesterday, knowing I was playing and walking out into the stadium, it just felt comfortable this time. I think last year there was a lot of new experiences for me, and I think part of that was uh, you know, some of the excitement that came with it, some jitters. But uh, you know, I feel ready. I feel most ready I ever have. So I had two other starts here before. One was, one was pretty good, the other one not so well. But um, it's loud. It's, you know, it's the bees. It's exciting. I'm excited to play here. They get, they're good at home. Uh, you know what? They're, they're, they get on a roll. Um, you know, it seems like they, they forecheck really hard here. They, they score here. Uh, you know, it, it, the building's got a lot of energy, and if we let them create that energy, and uh, you know, it, it's, it's hard to, to get that momentum back. So, uh, I think tonight will be a, a good first period as our key, and and and. Uh, Getting the first goal will be, be huge for us, too. Currently, here are the keys to tonight's game against the Boston Bruins. Hey, get some goal support for Jared Coro, who's going to be the starting goaltender. The Red Wings haven't won here in Boston during the regular season since 2013. Heck, today's a good day to do that, isn't it? By the way, I just want to say congratulations for the best picture, the shape of the ice. Water. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I'm a hockey guy. Shape of the water. All right, Carly, back to you. <laughs> Thanks for the report, Ken. You can catch all of tonight's action on 97 Won the Ticket with Ken Kale and Paul Woods or on the NBC Sports Network. Coverage begins at 6.30 p.m. and puck drop is at 7. For exclusive content, make sure to follow all of Detroit Red Wings social media channels. Thanks for watching this episode of Comerica Bank Game Day Preview. I'm Carly Johnston.